Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Basics of Nodes in Unreal Engine 4. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over the begin and end overlap nodes, how they work, and how we can use them in your game. So the begin and end overlap will fire off a pulse down the execution line if something overlaps or stops overlapping a certain actor. This can be useful for opening a door in a specific area, for example. So if you want to be able to open the door when you're in front of it, but not too far away from it, you would use these overlap events. So I'm going to put a picture up here of the node that we're using. This is probably going to be a begin overlap, but this also works the exact same for the end overlap. So the overlapped actor object reference is for actors that you want to ignore the overlap for. So if you don't want an AI to trigger this when it walks through and collides, you don't want this to trigger this event, but you want it to work for all your other characters, off the overlapped actor, you would simply just cast to that AI, and this then basically means it's going to ignore this. So it'll ignore that AI and not call this event when it overlaps it, but all your other characters will trigger this event. So again, overlapped actor will ignore. Then the other actor is for what you want to cause or trigger the begin and end overlap events. So if you want only your player to trigger this event, then you would come out of the other actor and cast your character. So again, the overlapped actor is for what you want to ignore, the other actor is for what you want to trigger it. So for example, if we place on a box trigger, so we'll put one in here like this, and I'll just scale it up like so. This doesn't matter the size too much, this is just for testing. And if we make sure we still have it selected and go to the level blueprint, so blueprints, open level blueprint, and if we right click and just get a begin overlap, so add on actor begin overlap for the collision of this box trigger here, and then do this again, so right click, now get an end overlap, so add on actor end overlap, like so. Now we have our begin and end overlap events. And then what I'm going to do is we'll come out of the other actor here, and we'll just cast to. I want to cast to my character, so mine is the third person character here, like so, and I'll do this on both of these so I can duplicate, plug the object into the other actor, executable into there like so. And we're doing this because again, the other actor is what we want to trigger the overlap events, and I want this to be my player. So I want, so I want it to trigger when my player is overlapping the box trigger here. So then out of this, we're going to get a gate, we can hold down G and left click. Open is going to go into the begin overlap one up here, so this one, the end overlap here will go into close like so and enter I'm just gonna get an E keyboard event like so and put that into the enter like so. So now I'm gonna make a video in the future on what gates do and how they work but essentially what this means is that we have to be inside the box trigger and pressing E for it to fire off the line of code out of the exit. If we're not then we won't be able to do that. And so out of the exit here, you can do your code, for example, opening a door, which I do have a few videos on, which will be linked on the screen now if you want them. And so again, you can put in any code you want behind here, for example, opening the door. I'm just going to put in a print string, as basically all we need to know is this begin overlap and end overlap here. We don't need to know the code behind this for this particular video. So I will just leave that as hello in the print string. If I compile, minimize, if I hit play and press E, nothing happens. If I go inside this box trigger, which is here, press E, we get hello. If I'm still in here and I leave, press E, nothing happens. So to show you this again, I won't use the gate example, but I'll just get print string again, put that in here, say overlapped, get another print string for this one, for end overlap, and I'll say not overlapped. Try this again, if I walk in, overlapped, walk out, not overlapped, overlapped, not overlapped. So you can see that it is firing off this event when we overlap and stop overlapping this box trigger here. So again, you can use any code behind this that you want. Again, for example, opening and closing a door or anything along those lines. So again, in summary, these will fire off a pulse when another actor begins or ends overlapping the actor it is referencing. The other component is the actors that you want to ignore and the other actor is the actors you want to trigger the overlap events. But I think that'll be it for this video on explaining what the begin and end overlap nodes do. I hope you understand them a bit more now. If you do or don't, let me know in the comments down below, and if you don't, I can hopefully help you understand them a bit more. And also, while you're down there, if you have any further requests for future notes that you want me to explain, comment them down below as well, and I'll get around to them. So, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.